What up guys, Maxki here and welcome to my school of economics. And guess what? You're late. Class is in session. <laughs> you never see this coming. What up class? This is Economics 8.2. This is my new series. Every time there's going to be a huge change to Echo regards to a buff or nerf or an item change or a rune change or just overall anything that happens to Echo in one of these patches for League of Legends, I'll make a video on it. So this is the first one. This is Economics 8.2 for patch 8.2. And in this patch, Frost Queens got removed. Echo got buffed. A lot of other laners got nerfed. Relic Shield, AD Carries got nerfed. So this is a good time to make this video to describe what are the best runes. And builds for Echo. So after I describe the best runes and builds, I'm going to do some OP.GG reviews of some of my viewers. Because those are good to learn from. And then lastly, I'll give my rating of Echo in this current meta. So I'll give him, I'll rate him from F to an A and explain why. So this is everything about Echo. So get ready class because there's going to be a pop quiz. Alright students, so this is the best room page for Echo in patch 8.2. It's the standard Electrocute Sorcery Secondary. So Electrocute, you all know, is so strong. It's probably one of the strongest runes out there. Sudden Impact is a staple in Echo because he dashes and it gives you so much extra damage. I'm using Zombie Ward now because I am using the new Eye of the Watchers for Echo in the mid lane, which gives me four wards. So with four wards plus Zombie Ward, I have vision across the entire map. But you can replace Zombie Ward with Eyeball Collection if you want to. And then my last one is Ravenous Hunter. The healing that you get late game is so amazing especially if you build gunblade now and i'll talk about that later but yeah 15 percent healing is amazing so that's why i build ravenous hunter and for sorcery secondary sorcery secondary you could go a lot of different things but i personally prefer absolute focus and gathering storm because it gives me more and more ap the more important the more and more ap that i have the more bursts i could do and the harder i could carry games yes you could go mana flow ban you could go ultimate hat all that stuff but i personally love the ap the most so now I'm going to talk about some example builds for Echo, his best builds. And a lot of these are similar, but they just vary depending on the game. So let me show you guys four examples and walk you through them. Number one on top, for all of these builds, we always go Eye of the Watchers first. Why would you go Eye of the Watchers? It's a support item. This item is 1800 gold. It's very cheap, cheaper than um, Frost Queens by 400 gold. That means you finish it quicker, which means you generate gold from its passive quicker with Bandit which means you'll finish your second item even faster. On top of that, it gives you CDR, four wards. You can have vision across the whole map, especially with zombie ward. It's just an amazing cheap item. Don't let anybody tell you that you're a troll for building it. It's an amazing item. And then, okay, so after that, we go boots, and boots depend on the game. So if they have a lot of AD, go tabbies. If they have a lot of CC, go mercs. If you're ahead and you could, like, you know, one-shot them, go sorg boots for that extra damage. Okay, so now in the first build, we got Boots and Eye of the Watchers. And now, sometimes I build Lich Bane. Lich Bane is a strong second item. The reason I don't build Proto Belt anymore is because, be is because since Eye of the Watchers is less AP now by like 25 or something like that. That means if I build Proto Belt, I only get 60 AP. So it kind of makes me weaker. But if I build an item like Lich Bane, which has on hit damage, which is really strong plus 80 AP, plus movement speed, plus CDR. It's a really good second item to get now. And then after that, in this game, I built the Andre's Torment because the enemy team had a lot of HP champions. So they have a lot of HP heavy champions, like a Cho'Gath or someone who's building Black Cleaver, Titanic Hydra. And there's like, you know, like tanky people. Then I usually go the Andre's Torment. And then Zhonyans is always good to buy if you for utility and if they have a lot of AD. So let's talk about the second build. Second build, same thing. We went Eye of the Watchers, then we went Sork Boots. Also went Lich Bane, but this time we built the Void Staff. Why, why did we build Void Staff? Because they didn't have a lot of HP crazy champions. They had a lot of squishy, low HP champions. So Void Staff works really well for those, especially if they build MR also. And then after that, we went uh, Zhanya's again. It's good for armor, AP, utility. And then we go bla Blasting One next. That was probably going to be for a Death Cap. The third build, Eye of the Watchers again, Sword Boots again, we went Lich Bane again, but this time we went Death Cap after because we were snowballing. And if you want to snowball that lead as hard as you can, you go Death Cap, even if you, even if you want to go Medjize after. So that's that example. So I hope you guys are understanding that for the most part, Echo builds the same. 
you just switch the beginning items or like mid game items. They're ordered depending on what you need for the moment. If you need more armor, go Zanyas. Need more damage, go Death Cap. Um, need more defense, you know, go Merc Tread Boots. Need more defense, go Tabbies. Like it, it depends on the game for what you build. And lastly, this is the new experimental build that Saint Killian has been doing quite a bit, and I've been trying out also. I used to tell myself I would never build Gunblade, but uh, Gunblade actually works really well with this new item. So basically, you finish Eye of the Watchers, you go whatever boots you need for the game, and then you start building Gunblade. So Gunblade is really strong right now because Echo did get his 10% attack speed buff, so now he could auto-attack quicker, so that's good for the AD that it gives you. AD AP is equivalent to the Lich Bane's AP, so you still get strong. It gives you its point-and-click, like, 200 damage passive, which is crazy good. And it's like substitute the slow that you lost from Frost Queen's Ghosties. So yeah, it's a really strong item right now. And on top of Ravenous Hunter 15% healing, when you fully stack it, with Gunblade 15% healing, you're getting 30% of your damage done for healing. Imagine doing a, a thousand damage ult. On top of gaining all the HP you gain back, you'll probably get a good 300 HP just from Gunblade and Ravenous Hunter. So you, you heal crazy amounts. And then after that, you could go Lich Bane, or you could go Death Cap, or Void Stab, depending on the game. So for the most part, these are like the builds that I do. They're all pretty similar, but I am testing Gunblade now because it sounds interesting to me. But yeah, I hope you guys learned something from these build paths and hopefully you guys understand how to build Echo better. All right, guys, so now we're going to do some OP.GG reviews. And these are very helpful because they explain a lot of reasons on why you're winning or losing. Obviously, they don't paint the whole picture, but... Me looking at OP.GG, I could realize some things that maybe you're not realizing. I could tell you why some things aren't going right and why things are going wrong. So not, not only am I helping the person who I'm doing, but I'm also helping you guys if you guys could relate to this person. So let's look at this guy, Dark Fudge, Season 5 Silver, Season 6 Silver, and then Gold 4, Season 7. So he has been gradually improving, which is always good. But we play this game for fun mostly, but yeah. So he's been improving. Um... 44% win rate with Echo, 27 games played. Last season, he was 55% win rate, 140 games played. So I know he wins more games than he loses with Echo. Maybe he's just having a hard time this season because you got to get adjusted to the new runes. You got to get adjusted to, you know, Echo, you know, getting nerfed a little bit. But Echo did get buffed now. But So I'm looking at his games. His runes are okay. I personally like Ravenous Hunter more and I like Absolute Focus more. But this could definitely work. He won this game. He's not going Eye of the Watcher. He goes Eye of the Watcher this game, but maybe he's not used to it, like I said. This game, this game, he goes to Stan. Oh, he goes to Merlinomicon. That's interesting. Um, yeah, a lot of these games... He's playing a lot of different champions, too. So, considering that he had a high win rate with Echo... Oh, and Gangplank. Every other champion he's been losing with. So, what I recommend... Like, see, he played 10 games with Garen and lost 7 of them. And that would literally make his win rate almost 50% if he got those seven uh, losses removed. But uh, for the most part, see, you play when you play a lot of champions like this, that means you're rusty at them. Like, if you barely play the champion, then you go play it in rank. There's not a high chance you'll carry. So I would recommend for this guy to just stick with Echo because he doesn't play these all these champions a lot. Especially last season, you could tell. That Echo was his best champion and Gangplank. So maybe you should play Echo and Gangplank more often. And all the other champions that you played literally held you back. Except like Master Yi, okay. But for the most part, playing other champions has been holding you back. Because you have a lot of losses with not your main champions. And I'm pretty sure your Echo will improve later. But yeah, so let's go to the second one. Here we have King Ko. Season 4 Bronze, Season 5 Bronze, Season 6 Gold, Season 7 Gold. So gradual improvement here. Now you're Platinum 3. So you got to play some Platinum. So you're, you're already improving. Not a lot of games. 22 games this season. But let's see what's happening here. A great win rate with Echo. Nice KDA. Great win rate with Malphite. One game with Evelyn. Uh, one game with Kane. One game with Diana. Going, um... You don't really play... Well, you, don't, you barely have any... You, you have 22 games played, and you already played five different champions. Maybe just stick to these two. Let's see, this season, season seven. See, yeah, Echo is your highest win rate. So I, I say just stick to Echo. Obviously, sometimes it gets boring to play Echo all the time, but if you're winning with Echo and you want to climb a rank, just stick to Echo and play all these other champions in 
like normals. Um, you go Klepto Echo. Klepto Echo got nerfed, so I don't think it's that good anymore. So I would recommend go back to Electrocute. But for the most part, you don't have a lot of games to play, so I can't say much. But what I can tell you is just, just keep playing Echo. And maybe Mal Malphite's actually strong right now. So these two would work for you if you want to climb. So I hope you guys enjoyed that quick OP.GG review session. I hope you guys learned something about champions and win rates and picking different champions. But yeah, let's get into Echo's rating. And I give Echo an A- minus for this patch. I think before he was like a C plus B minus, but now he's an A minus because he got a 10% attack speed buff, which is huge on Echo. It basically almost brings back old attack speed runes. Um, point and click champions in lane now take minion aggro. So Echo's laning phase just got even easier because champions that just point and click on you like Ryze or LeBlanc's Q, Akali's Q, now they take minion aggro so they can't do that as often without getting punished. Um, Relic Shield 80 carries are gone, so now Echo could even burst them even more now without having to worry about a thousand damage shield. And lastly, Frost Queens did get removed, but Eye of the Watcher is a really cheap item that gives you a lot of vision and helps you snowball even faster because you get gold faster. So I think Echo is in a really cool spot right now. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Next time there's a big change to Echo, I'll make another one of these economics videos, so stay tuned. And good luck on your Echo Grind.